Namaste and welcome to another episode of Om Cuisine, Authentic Universal Meditative. This is Vaidhi Priyanka and I'm bringing to you one of my favourite dishes of all time, the tri-cauliflower fried rice. I love cauliflower, all of you know that. So a really hot pan and some coconut oil. And it just feels delightful, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, so here I'm going to put some cloves in there, just warming it up. It smells lovely. I'm going to be putting in some onions. There's something about cloves and onions and cauliflower. It kind of works its magic really nicely. And in the center of that, we're going to be putting in some page pata, otherwise called bay leaves. Smells so fragrant in here, seriously. Guys, you should be here, it's so good. So about one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, there's something about these flavors coming together. With good Indian cooking, it's very important to understand that when you add the spices and the specific types of condiments and even the onions or the ginger and the garlic which we call the holy trinity is very important every part of india has its own little secret mantra but there is a reason for that so right here we're going to be adding three colors of cauliflower in this case purple yellow and white you also get cauliflower these days in green actually looks very nice and all that is mixing together at this point I'm going to be adding some cinnamon about a couple of pinches of cinnamon and then I'm going to be adding some coconut milk Mm, the color is just coming alive, just so beautiful. And don't make your cauliflower soggy, it's very important for it to be crisp, you know. So then I'm going to be adding some cardamom powder, a couple of pinches of it, a couple of pinches of black pepper powder, and I'm going to be adding cilantro. And at this point, I'm going to be adding some rice, some already cooked. So it depends on how many people you're making it for, but you know, make sure that you add quite a sizable amount of rice for the cauliflower. You notice I haven't added any of my salt so far because I don't really want to interrupt the flavors, allowing it to intermingle quite seamlessly. It's very important. Okay, that smells unique. So I'm going to add some salt at this point to taste. Just make sure you don't use too much. all coming together nicely. I'll see you back here when we plate. So time to put together this wonderful, wonderful plate. So what we're going to do is going to put some coconut oil in the base and in that coconut oil some black pepper and a whole bunch of spinach and then just tap it down like so. I like to pack my rice really, really nice, you know, tight. So the flavor is like all over and the colors are coming alive. It's very important to cook with love. And when you're making a beautiful dish like this, 
it always helps. So I'm going to go like and lift it up gently. And you can see the little green just glistening. So you can put a little bit of each type of cauliflower in these little flowerets. And on the side, just to line things up. And a pinch of cardamom on top. There we have it. So I'm going to do a little taste test. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And the thing is, there's a crunch to the cauliflower, so I can actually taste the cauliflower. Absolutely delightful. I love the taste and love the visual integrity of it. Gorgeous. Tell me how the people in your life loved it. Until then, see you next time.